Number one, Enjo Kosai. Recycling or wrong recycling or fake recycling are crimes committed by the elderly. Number four is Sagi, fraud. A lot of fetish crimes happen. Hey guys and girls on Ash Japanese, it's Kathy Cat. How safe is Tokyo? Is a question that you guys have asked us a lot. This time we are gonna go and talk about some specific crimes that can happen in Tokyo because it is the capital, because there are a lot of people. So let's go and find out what they are. Number one, Enjo Kosai. Now, Enjo Kosai is a word for a specific crime that happens here in Japan. In a culture where young underage idols are idolized or generally teens are fetishized and similar things like that it is not surprising that men old men will pay certain coin to hang out with young underage girls and enjo kosai is a form of that enjo kosai is underage girls usually high school girls um, sometimes even younger than that going on dates with elder men and uh, elder men paying for that now uh, some of them just want to be spoiled and be taken for dates but generally it is about the cash in the end um, the girls want to have for example buy themselves certain brand items they can't afford it so they secretly online um, find elder men that are willing to take them on dates for them give them some cash and uh, take them out and um, this has been a big problem before I'm not sure how much they're tracking down on this but it sometimes uh, was especially credited to the Gyaru community unfortunately that uh, all the makeup and the branded items and the cute clothes they were buying themselves if you're a high schooler you might not be able to afford it so some girls went down that path now it does not have to go sexual and um, it can just literally be a date because again young girls are fetishized in japan quite a lot through the idol culture anime culture and similar things like that but sometimes it can also cross the border all of these cases are by the way illegal as one as soon as money crosses from one hand to the other as soon as they're not actually dating but actually dating for cash it becomes enjo kosai girls can get expelled from school for that and there's also some penalty for guys who do that uh, it's been happening it's said to be the kind of thing that might happen in Shibuya where all the cool girls meet and you know in the because the big city gives you the kind of mantle of being anonymous in the crowd these things happen more in Tokyo than they happen uh, outside in the countryside and similar because people would be able to see and pick up on that pretty quickly so that's uh, number one Enjo Kosei Recycling or wrong recycling or fake recycling can also be a crime. So number two are recycle trucks or recycling trucks. Now in Japan, if you have goods that are hard to recycle like a fridge, a TV, a large pack of shelves, you cannot just put them out with your trash. You need to apply for specific recycle trucks to come and pick up your trash and because there's so little space in Tokyo quite a lot of people have to quickly get rid of furniture that might not fit into their apartment either the lack of space calls for a lot of organizing and getting rid of things so however if you want to go through that process it is actually not as easy first of all you have to come contact your community and your local government or similar and tell them I would like to throw this fridge out that's step number one, <laughs> but it goes on from there. Next thing you have to go to a convenience store and pay a certain amount of money and get a labeled big sticker that goes onto that fridge with your name. Also, once you contact the uh, local authorities about getting this fridge picked up, you're only allowed to put the fridge out around that day when it's supposed to get picked up, which can be as little as once a month. Sometimes if the trucks are already fully booked, it can be once every two months. So once this fridge is out on the street with the label on and everything and you paid for it, you paid certain cash for it, no one else is allowed to pick this up. Once you see the label on, don't dare touching it. If you see a cute pair of shelves and it looks like no one wants it and it has the label on, taking that and putting it to your apartment because you could do with that is another crime. You can't do that. You can't pick it up. But there's another extra crime in this situation here. And those are fake recycling trucks. They know you can make serious cash with saying, I'll come and pick it up. So they pretend to pick it up 
and they might pick it up, but then just ditch it somewhere in the field or sell it off somewhere else in another country. And similar things like that. Highly frowned upon, but these kind of crimes are very Tokyo Japan specific. It's the fake recycling pickup trucks. So yeah. Number three are crimes committed by the elderly. Japan is actually the country with the highest population of elderly citizens in the world. That's called a chokore shakai, meaning a lot of old people live in Japan and so as their numbers are rising are the crimes committed by them. For example, in 2014, an estimate of 33% of the population was above the age of 60. 25.9% above the age of 65 and 12.5% above the age of 75. Those are big numbers seeing there is a huge amount of elderly citizens here in Japan in a quite proud age. However, some of them can get very isolated, especially on the countryside. There's sometimes complete villages that are only inhabited by elderly people, which is a problem for Japan because they get more and more isolated in those areas and young people are moving to the cities. So even in Tokyo, or maybe especially in Tokyo, when you can feel totally isolated from other people, even though around you there are so many people, the crime rate of the elderly citizens is rising. It's a sad fact, but some of them are actually also stealing because they can't afford their houses anymore, because they feel very lonely. And at least if they go to prison, they won't be alone and they don't have to pay the rent. So these kind of things seem to be happening. Also, a lot of crimes from elderly ladies are starting to happen. And it's the, the idea of like, I used to be able to afford this. So I kind of still want this. So some of them will think, I used to be able to buy the really expensive grapes. I would like to, you know, prepare a nice meal for everyone again. So they might be taking food, those kind of things. Um, so unfortunately, the, the crime rate of the elder generation is rising. Japan is trying to counteract it by making the elderly population a little more active and, and you know, giving events and certain things so the elderly population can come together. But right now, due to the COVID situation, many elderly cannot do the social events that they used to do and get even more isolated. So unfortunately, that's, a, that's a, another effect of COVID. Number four is sagi fraud. A very famous type of fraud is called ore ore sagi. That's when elderly people are actually the targets of this type of fraud. Ore ore sagi is the phone rings, the elderly person picks it up, and on the other line, there will be a young person's voice in distress saying, It's me, it's me, I'm in trouble. And ore ore means it's me, it's me. So usually it's you know, ore means a boy. So maybe the, the firstborn son of the family. So they will instinctively think young voice in trouble and they will answer with the person's name. So for example, uh, ore 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 da yo. And, and she goes, oh, Kohei. And he's like, yes, it's me. It's me, Kohei. I'm in trouble. I've done this and I need a lot of money. Please help me out. And those types of fraud are happening more and more. There are warnings all over it. Every ATM, at lots of stores, obviously the police offices everywhere, even in the news, because they happen so often. And that is very sketchy people trying to shock and stress elderly people into giving them a huge sum of money, which are not going towards Kohei or whatever person it is, but to just some sketchy syndicates. The trick is generally, you know, they say, it's me. The other person will answer with name of the person that say it, stick with Kohei. He's like, yeah, it's me. I've done this. I've, I've made a big mistake at the company or I've gone into a car crash. And anyways, they usually ask for money, but they say, I can't come. So you need to give it this third person who will either go to a drop off point or come to their house and similar things like that. And it's huge amounts of cash that they're trying to steal off the elderly that way. And unfortunately, still in this, even with all the warnings out, quite a lot of old people fall for it and get tricked and lose literally their life's income. So that's another sad thing that's happening in Japan. Japan is trying so hard to warn elderly people of it, but unfortunately, it's still happening. 
British cries with the fetishizations of very young girls with less sex in marriage and a lot of pressure at work, a lot of fetish crimes happen here in modern day Japan. Given you example, we mentioned it in another video before, a guy who stole 2,000 bicycle seats of young girls and women to smell and lick the bicycle seats or people stealing women's and girls underwear, uh, other people gro groping young girls on the train. That's why we have woman only carriages in Tokyo. Now, all these kind of crimes is actually a whole list of different types of harassment and crimes that can happen. So these kind of fetishes get built by the immense pressure of society. Japan is said to have a low rate of sex once people actually marry and a really high rate of pornography and other adult entertainment industries to balance this out but also it leads to quite a lot of crimes in that area. Um, there are quite a lot of clubs and bars and pubs that cater to these kind of feelings in a more constructive way that costs money but it, it is possible for people to vent out these emotions but still there is quite a lot of fetish crimes and harassment crimes happening in nowadays Japan. We've actually talked about more of those really crazy hentai crimes in a different video. We'll put the link somewhere so you can go and check it out. It's some of the weirdest crimes that are happening here seriously guys. Um, and literally having guys steal girls underwear is a thing here i thought that was just the thing that happened in anime but it's real it's real i don't understand but it's real <laughs> so these are some crimes that are very specific to tokyo and the surrounding areas because there are so many people because there's so much stress and pressure on people and just just try being on the morning trains to Tokyo actually working and not just on holiday for a couple of days there's a lot a lot of pressure on the people working here but nevertheless even with all of that Tokyo is ranked the safest city in the world for three consecutive years meaning there's less pickpocketing less violent crimes quite a lot of things that might happen in your country are not happening as much here so many people still feel a lot safer in Tokyo and a lot happier in Tokyo. So I know there are some crimes that might surprise you, um, as the ones that I mentioned, they're very Tokyo specific, but nevertheless, Tokyo is a great city, is very, very safe. So uh, never, never, never forget that uh, we all should look after each other. So even walking down a dark alleyway in the middle of the night, no matter where you are, is probably not a good idea. But generally look out for yourself, but also look out for others. Don't just be selfish. Make sure that you have a great journey if you come to Tokyo. And I hope this gave you some extra little bit of information about some very Tokyo specific crimes that can happen around here. I hope this is something that you learned a little bit of this. I hope you like this. Don't forget to give us a like to let us know you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to find out more about Japan coming from Japan here right now, not in Tokyo, but the countryside to you, then uh, please, please don't forget to subscribe. As it is still the COVID situation and the cases are rising, we're being careful. We're being out here in the healthy countryside and bringing you videos. So I really appreciate it that you tune back into us and I'll see you soon for a future video with Ash Japanese. Thank you so much and I'll see you soon. Bye. またね。